When preparing a two-part mold, you'll want to embed one half of your original part in a clay. Apply a mold release and bubble buster and cover your first part by at least a half an inch with melted composite mold. Once cooled, remove the clay. Flip the mold over, freeze it for at least an hour and apply a mold release to prepare for the second half of the mold. Here we're pouring the second half of the mold on the figurine and an airplane. You'll see now that we'll use a tool to pull away any bubbles that are touching the surface of the master object. Allow the composite mold to cool and then you can pull the two halves apart and check out the details of your mold. You can easily mix clear casting plastic one to one by volume. Add a few drops of acrylic paint to dye the epoxy resin. Line up the two halves of the mold and tape them back together to make your castings. Use a sharp tool to make a small slice so that you can inject the casting resin into the mold. Because composite mold is transparent, you can see if there are any air bubbles trapped in your mold. Simply use the sharp tool to poke a hole so that the air can release as you inject more casting resin into the mold. The same techniques are applied to this smaller mold. Allow the clear casting plastic to cure overnight and then you can remove your castings. You can see here there's a significant amount of flashing or overflow of the resin. This is easily trimmed in our next step. Choose the two-part mold-making method to duplicate all four sides of the object that you choose.